It was an early morning at Sweet Apple Lakers. Applejack was looking after a farm by herself while the rest of the family was over to Appaloosa to visit some old family members. When Applejack was taking care of so that the had taken care of feeding at the to some of the farm animals, she was at the barn taking care of some of the box there when she heard on a knock on the door, at least on the wall outside. Excuse me. Yes, um, is there any uh, available job at the Sweet Apple Acres? Not at the moment. Why? Who is asking? Before Applejack could even finish, she turned her, had just turned around and looked at the open door which sees a brown stallion standing there. Do I know you? Well, you can say that much, AJ. Wait, who are you? Wow, well, it has been many years since I saw you. I'm sorry, but I don't recognize you that much. Ah, that would explain such things we haven't even seen in many years. I'm actually from Ponyville, but I moved here from where with my parents long ago. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't recognize you as much. Well, maybe my name might ring a bell. Coco Cream. Coco Cream. Applejack stood there, puzzled, start to figure out exactly who he could be. But then her eyes got wide. Coco Green? Cream? Is it that really you? She said with big eyes. It sure is. Wow, it has been. What has it been? Five? Eight years, in fact. <laughs> it has been a long time, Applejack. Or as I will say, AJ. Coco Cream turned out to be an old friend of Applejack who moved away from Ponyville from about eight years ago with his parents to Maid Hatton. Wow, I mean, I haven't even seen or heard from you for so long time. How you been? You know, you know I've been actually been quite well. My parents still live back in Maid Hatton and I actually came back here to, well, you know, to visit some old friends and other relatives who still lives here. So, yeah, I came to my mind to why, why not visit my old friend Applejack at Sweet Apple Acres. Well, that depends if she still lived there. So, I asked her around and sure enough, you still live there. So, where is your family? Ah, well, they are actually in Appaloosa. Ah, so that makes sense. So, well, do you need any extra helper around the farm for a couple of days while your research family is away? Um, yeah, you know what, even though I'm not actually looking forward to any extra help, but any help from, from my old friend that always welcome here. Well, you just let me know what, what I can do and I'm sure I can to help with it. So, I put that game and some, some ideas, some things what to do. And I was like to feed the chickens and go help her in the barn. And after that, they were used to go to the back in town to deliver some apples or sweet apple acres and some like that. And after they had been taking care of the shorts at the farm and later went to to, to Sugar Creek Corner to sell the apples there to the, to the cake family. After that, they didn't have any other, other plans to do. So... Applejack actually decided to, to use, buy some things at Sugar Cook Corner and they went to, to the park so they could spend some time and just talk. After all, Applejack had even seen her friend Coco Cream for over eight years. She was very eager to know exactly what she what he had been up to for the past eight years. So after that Applejack bought some cupcakes and they went to the park. They both sit down under a tree to just relax, so... So, Coco Cream, what have you have been up to for the past eight years in Manhattan? Uh, you know, you're normal. Some of those normal stuff. Finished school, work some... Some part-time job here and there. Just earn the money. You know, kid or something like that. So, how is your parents? They are actually doing well. Um... I'm all works as usual. 
dad is, uh, <laughs> you know, handy working. Yeah, like my dad used to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do miss your parents so much. They were really kind ponies. Yeah. So, anything else has been happening here in Ponyville? I know. I mean, for example, like to be, except to be the heroine, the hero of the modern Equestria, he said with a little grin. Ah, uh, so you heard the stories. Heard? That's all the most ponies talk these days. I mean, talking about this modern superheroes, or at least the heroes of Ponyville or Equestria, so who wouldn't know? said Coco Green with a smile. Yeah, but you know, I was well not expecting to be as a hero growing up. I mean, I was only expecting to be an apple farmer like my parents and my grandparents and yeah, stuff like that. Well, maybe you can still be a hero for, for the quest and teach others how to be brave and keep your name as a legacy up there for next generations. And you see, in that way, yeah, maybe, said Apple Jack with a smile back. But anyways, how about you have been doing it otherwise in Maid Hatter? Have you found your special sound pony yet? She said a little chuckle. Uh, I thought I did. Oh, what happened? He sighed and said, well, five years ago, I was actually dating... Uh, this mare, and it seems going quite well between us. We were dating for maybe for for almost four years, and uh, you know, I was actually thought thinking about uh, proposing to her, but one day when I was at the, at my work, a uh, part time job, and as a grocery store in town, um, one of my friends who also lived there. He came up to me telling me that uh, he has been seeing my my girlfriend at the time, uh, spending some time with another stallion. And I thought, okay, but he even mentioned that he has seen her with this 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 particular stallion at the cafe. They were just just talking, laughing, and it, but and he thought maybe that was an old friend of hers, so he didn't pay much attention. But he kept seeing her with this particular stallion for a couple of times after that. First, it was just that they were just walking together through town, or they were laughing, and uh, it was not until uh, at some point when he saw them actually kissing at the park. And somehow he overheard them saying that, I love you so much, I can't wait to get married with you. It seems that, turns out, my girlfriend at the time actually cheated with me against me with another stallion for over a year. I was devastated. And how did it even happen? After the account. Uh, well, long story short, I told her that we were over, then that I didn't want to see her anymore because I literally found out that she had been cheating on me for about a year with some stallion and that she wanted to marry him. And she didn't even deny it because she wasn't laughing or crying or yelling at me like that. She just said calmly, well, I'm sorry, but we were over, over, over a year ago. At least in my mind. But then I told her I was actually planning to propose to her. She was a little so stunned about that, but I said, I'm not going to do that anymore since I literally find out you have been cheating over, over me, against me for over a year. So this is never going to happen. After that, I never saw her or heard from her again. My friend's family literally found out also, they were devastated to find out, especially my parents. They liked her. They loved her. And when I mentioned to my parents or once or twice that I thought maybe that she could be the one and that I'm going to propose to her, my parents actually gave me all support. But I would only find out after she had been cheating on me, they were devastated and said, good thing you didn't actually propose to her. Because even if you did, it's a good chance that she could still be cheating on you with this stallion, even if you're married her. And that shocked my heart even more. Ever since then, I had not been focused on dating at all. Wow. I... 
I'm so sorry, Toka Grimm. I I didn't know. Well, I hadn't even mentioned this to much any opponents at all. The only ones who knew about this that she did cheating on behind my back was just my best friend, my parents, and a few other close friends. But other than that, there were only another opponents that knew that we just broke up when they asked for a reason. I did specify any particular reason. I just said I just broke up with her. I didn't feel love. I didn't love her anymore. So I tried to focus on my life, you know, for an actor, my work, friends, parents, that and over and over. And what about you? Have you found any particular special song pony yet? I ask. No, I have been busy with my family, the farm, and at the school of friendship, you know. I heard about that. <laughs> I cannot even imagine my old friend after that as a teacher. I cannot even imagine seeing you as a teacher at the school. <laughs> Hey, I mean, not as a bad way, Applejack. I mean, I, I cannot even imagine seeing you as a teacher. Well, yeah, you may have had a point. I mean, I didn't even expect him to be a teacher at all, though. <laughs> uh, you might have been expecting something. Life always works out in mysterious ways, as my dad always says. They sat there for a little bit longer, and before not knowing it, Applejack had to go back to the farm to take care of some of the things there. But he said to Coco Cook Cream that he is always welcome back the next day to help her. So for the next couple of days, he actually stayed at he went to Sweet Apple Acre to help her with some some chores and after they were done though, they were just sitting out there inside the house, just talking about old childhood memories and they were they loved to be talking about it. But after a while though because just the day before her family was going about, supposed to be returning, he said that he was going back to Maid Hat. But he went, but it was started going to miss her, but he was happy to at least to reach out to her again and catch up with her, what's, what's been happening over the past eight years. But he said that he was always welcome, that she is always welcome to visit him in Maid Hat and, and the same, and she said the same thing. They promised to reach out, keep in touch by over by letters. But over time, something would happen. Only about a few days after, the other day after when he left, around the same time when the rest of the family came back, they were unaware that Coco Cream actually had been at the, at the farm. So when Apple, 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 Apple Bloom asked, Applejack, what she had been doing for the past few days. She mentioned that Coco Cream, an old friend of hers, showed up. Big Mac and Grand Smith know exactly that is. But Apple Bloom wasn't didn't even know because she was too young to even remember when Coco Cream actually moved away from Ponyville with his family. Who? Coco Cream? Who is that? Apple Bloom asked. Oh, that's uh, an old friend of mine. Oh, old friend or an old boyfriend? She said with a little smile. Apple Bloom! No, he's not an old boyfriend or Applejack, said Big Mac. He's actually just an old friend of hers. He lived here in Ponyville until they moved away for kind of being what? Nine? Eight? Eight? Uh, eight years ago. So, how has it been? Uh, you know, the same thing. He. Uh, you know, takes us part-time jobs and uh, taking care of his family, spend time with friends. Well, you know, normal things. So, are you going to see him the next time? Um, I don't know, said Applejack. Maybe. Well, if you do, say hi to him for us. I will. For the next couple of weeks, Applejack and Coco Cream actually remained in touch by letters. But one day, Applejack decided to just go to see him in Manhattan. So when she went over there, she wasn't sure exactly where to find him, since she's not always normally in Manhattan that often. But she agreed to meet. She told Coco Cream that she will be over in town one day, but she didn't expect this. 
specify exactly which day though. But when she went into town, she went to this grocery store that she knows that he works as part time. But she wasn't sure if he was even there though. But she went there, looked around, and sure enough, among when stalking is stalking the the items on the shelves, she said, "Cocoa cream, you're a working as always." He turned around and said, "Apple duck, what are you doing here?" Ah, you want to go see my old friend? And I didn't have much else to do with back in home, and so, and my family wants to say hi to you. <laughs> as always, Big Mac is like, "Yep, nope." As always, said Apple Jack with a smile. Uh, well, I do have to. I quit my job within a, but in a half hour. If you can wait, maybe outside for the town. Sure, I can do that. So she left the petite at the store. And about a half hour later, he comes out. They decide to walk to a small diner or cafe nearby to grab some something to eat. And after they went there, they were just small talking, and he was actually happy to see her. After they left this cafe, they actually went to see his parents. They had even seen Apple Gag in over eight years either. But they were so happy to see her again. See her fall grown up and hearing her about what she had been doing for the past eight years as a, one of the local heroes of Ponyville, not even save the question for a number of times. But they were just happy to see that she has been doing well, and both actually were also close friends to her parents. They said, ah, If your parents could see you now, yeah, they would be happy. Your dad was the absolute most crazy sometimes, but even especially when he was younger. Yeah, Burned Oak told me the stories about him when he was doing that. <laughs> uh, you know, you only know half of it, said Coco Cream's dad. But after that, actually, Coco Cream didn't even live with his parents anymore. He had his own place near, only nearby, but he used to go to see his parents from time to time to see just to help them if they need anything. But as time passed for that, Apple Jack asked if he could stay if they could stay there for a couple of days. I mean she decided to stay in town for a few days. So they can spend some more time and Coco Cream didn't mind if she stay there. After all, he said, You can take my bed, I can't take the couch. You don't have to sleep on the couch. I can sleep on the couch. You're my guest. I will have to. I don't hesitate to take a no for an answer. Fine, cocoa cream, or I would say cocoa. Applejack, please. I'm not a cult anymore. Just call it by name. Well, there is cocoa. Is your part of your name, isn't it? Ah, oh, you're right. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> but as time went on for them. They had a lot of fun together when they when Applejack were in Manhattan. They were hanging a lot of time. They went to the cafe that time, to the diner sometimes, and even spent time with some of his friends. But after that, Applejack went back to Ponyville. Something would start to change. For a couple of nights after that, she would when she returned back home. She started having dreams about her and Coco Cream together. Some of them were just they were out of the park, just hanging out with friends, but but one of the dreams actually stood out quite more, more often. She was standing next to Coco Cream, but he was wearing a suit, and she was wearing a wedding dress. They were getting married. To her, that dream felt so real. But she didn't mention it, mention that dream to anyone, not even a family or friends, because she didn't pay much attention. But, but deep in her mind or in her heart, she had almost hope this could be a real dream or maybe happen for reality. But she didn't pay much attention, because one day when she received a letter from Coca Cream, she was actually happy to read it. Until when he mentioned one part of the letter. It said, 
he has suddenly started taking a mare again. This time, a new mare that he has been see at least known for about a, about two years. They so far had only been on going out for a couple of days. He wasn't sure if this was going to be in a serious relationship or maybe just casual date or something like that. But as he wrote, wrote in a letter, he was actually very optimistic that it might could lead to something long term. Reading that, it somehow hurt Applejack in her heart because she had realized after that, that dream that she had about her and him getting married. She was in love with him, but reading this letter broke her heart, realizing now she had no chance at all to even be with him. Even though she had planned to telling him about this particular dream, and that she made, and that also she had a crush on him, but now that he has been dating this particular mare, she chose not to. Ever since that letter. Applejack to shows shows to just remain a close close friends with him. Even over in, in the letters, from time to time, he mentioned her his new girlfriend and says how happy he is, and and each time it hurt her more and more. And one day, she just stopped sending letters to him, and he was wondering why suddenly all that suddenly. After all. They have been writing letters to each other for a couple of months by this point, and suddenly, one day, it just stopped, and he was wondering why. So he decided to pay a visit to Pony, which is a surprise visit as this first time. But when he went to Sweet Apple Acres, he couldn't find Applejack anywhere, so he asked Big Mac. Uh. Uh, Big Mac, how has it been? Cocoa cream, how have you been? I'm been doing well. Uh, can you tell me where I can where I can find Applejack? Applejack, isn't she here? No, I can't see her or hear her anywhere. Applebo, have you seen Applejack? No, last time I saw her, she was walking into town. Oh, um. She might be there. Maybe it's, go to see the castle. Maybe it's at where Twilight. Right? I'm see you try there. So he went back in town, went to the castle, knocked on the door, and spiked on it. Hi, um, I'm looking for Applejack. Um, I'm an older friend of hers. Is she here? Uh, no. Sorry. Um, if, if your friend Twilight hears of, about her, please, I'm actually looking for her, y yeah, I can let her know. So, Cream, Coco Cream is walking around town, asking around if any pony has seen Applejack. But so far, no pony has seen her in a whole day. Except for Lyra and Sweet Drops, who actually saw her earlier that morning, or that, earlier than that, that noon. But other than that, they hadn't even, even seen her. He, even when he went to Chicago Corner asking Mr. and Mrs. Cake if they had an idea what Applejack could be, well, they asked, said maybe at the Sweet Apple Acres, or maybe at the castle, or maybe somewhere else. They even explained where maybe some of her friends, like Gratitude's Boutique or Fluttershy's home. So he thanks them and went to Chicago on both places. But Rarity had even seen Applejack. So when she when he went to see Fluttershy, he got a big surprise. Turns out she knows exactly where to find Applejack. She tells him and tells him that Applejack has been been on the on the, the meadow outside town for a couple of times. So he thanked her and went there. And he was wondering why suddenly that Applejack has stopped writing this writing 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 letters for him. He was just surprised at all that suddenly. Applejack? Oh Coco Cream? What, what are you doing here? Um came to see you. I've been looking all over for you. Like 
You're looking for me? Why? I mean, I'm getting worried about you, Jack. Worried about me? And you know I can handle things and I can take care of myself. But there is one thing I want to ask you. What is it? Why are you stop writing letters to me? Do you hate me or anything? Or are you angry at me? I'm just surprised that all that stopped. I came all the way here to ask you that. Because I know that if I wrote a letter, I wouldn't even get any answer. And I I did ask your brother, and he wasn't even surprised. He was surprised too. And I looked around all the time for you. I asked so many ponies that where you could find me. But then you told your friend Fluttershy told me to find you here. So Applejack, do you hate me for any reason? Tell me. I want to know. And if you angry or angry at me to, for any reason, I don't blame you if you were happy and angry at me. There's nothing like that, said Applejack. It just says, just what? You can tell me anything. It's nothing important anyways. Please, Applejack. I want to know. As your friend. As you're one of the oldest friends, please. I really, I really want to know. She said, said, fine. Ever since you told me about your letters, that you may start finding this mare, and that you thought maybe that she could be the one, even though they said about the first one you made dating, dating all those years ago, you know, I felt hurt when you mentioned those part of me in the letters. Hurt? Why? You know, after my second visit to you in after my first visit to you in Manhattan a couple of weeks ago, yeah. After I came home, I started having dreams about you and me. Dr dreams? He just said surprise. Yeah, but it was just regular dreams that we were just. Hanging out at the park or something like that, but but one of them stuck out way really more than the others. And then she explained the dream. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, so I understand you're doing probably up there. To be honest, I'm not surprised that even you had one of those dreams also. Wait, you had something like that too? In truth, to be honest, yes. Ever since I came to see you for the first time all those weeks ago here in Pondville, I started having dreams about you and me, but they were just regular dreams as most of the times. They were just first so that were when we were just, when we were younger, playing around, playing games, and now when you're now we are older that we just also like we are just hanging out, spend time. But some of them actually were we were married or getting married, and some of you we were married and even have the family together. I really wanted to know exactly why some days you were letters stopped coming to me. Even I knew that probably I, even if I wrote the letters back to you, I probably would even get answered. So, I mean, I'm sure I can let you know that even though, though I had those dreams and I have a crush on you, and I know you're probably not really, really happy to be with your new girlfriend and that you're probably going to marry her one day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You had a crush on me? Yeah, did I imagine that? No? Until you saw. Oh. Well, I did, and, well, I still do, but... Applejack, there is something that you, you should know. Me and my girlfriend are no longer together. Oh? Yeah, she turns out that she wasn't even much in love with me as I, she expect, or as I, I expected. She and I have only dated for maybe a couple of weeks until two weeks ago when she broke up with me and ever since I I started wondering is she the right the one for me or is I should should be with someone else? And after having those dreams about you and me, I came to realize that you are my true soulmate. Are you sure? Positive. 
but Applejack, I know you may not didn't like me back in the same way anymore, but trust me, I have not been more clear in my mind. You, of all the mares in the whole kingdom, are the most sweetest, caring, generous, respectful of all I have met. You are the most adorable, the most beautiful, the most gorgeous of all mares. I would have done anything to save you from any danger as you have done to others in the past. But I know for sure you may find the right pair, the right stallion for you one day. And then he suddenly turned around and just started walking. Applejack stood there, stunned. She had no idea what to do. After hearing exactly what he said, and he did speak of his true heart, he meant every single word. And as he was, as he was nearly half away from her, she stood up, ran towards him, and said, Wait! And he stopped and turned around. What is it? And then she just ran up to him and started kissing him. He was stunned. He didn't expect that to happen. Please don't go. Applejack. I love you still. And if you really want to give us a chance, I'm willing to do so. And he was stunned. But he realized Maybe that he could give her a chance at least. So they decided to be trying to be in on a couple of days to see if it's actually one some spark between them. After their third date, they realized they were meant to be each other. They had so much in common. They know each other so well. And they actually made official even you know, after the third date. Both families and all friends were just already happy to see that Applejack may have found his soulmate. Even when his parents found out, they were not big surprised when they told them, Son, we are so proud of about this. And you know, I'm not really surprised that you and Applejack would end up, end up being together one day. Wait, you knew... Well, I had a feeling that you and Applejack might end up one day. And her father told me once that when you were younger, he said jokingly, he said, Slow me. And, uh, and this is, is his words, quote unquote. All those years ago, he said, You know, I'm not surprised if your son, Coco Korean, and my daughter Applejack one day end up being together. And starting a family together, you get married, he said. And even he did said, he also said briefly, if your son and my daughter do end up get married or get engaged, he would have my blessing all the way. He said that? Sure did. Applejack's father was always the bravest that I know, even though he did joke around a lot, but, but when it came to seriousness, he merely meant it. Applejack and Cocoa Cream went so happy when hearing those words. They were actually on many, many dates together, over to movies, happy romantic dinners, they even often sat near Apple sweet, ap sweet Apple Acres to watch some falling stars and shooting stars at the sky and realizing they were meant to be. And just really two years after they got together, she, Coco Green actually proposed to Applejack and she said yes immediately. They decided to have the wedding at Sweet Apple, Sweet Apple Acres. Applejack had chosen Fluttershy to be her bridesmaid 
and Coco Cream had asked Big Mac to be his best man. They had a great time. And as a big bone, as a big surprise for both of them, Twilight, with help of Celestia and Luna, had arranged so that they could go to a tropical island for a week. And they loved this gift. Because when they went to the honeymoon, they had a great time swimming in the ocean, got sightseeing, did even exploring the jungles, and just having a such amazing time. And just barely three years after they got married, Coco Cream and Apple Jack big announcement all. They were expecting their first baby within the next couple of months, and they were also expecting a daughter. And after about four years, Big Mac announced they were expecting a second baby, this time another girl. But just two more years later, they were expecting a third, this time a boy. Both Applejack and Coco Cream could have been happier to have such amazing family. And even Applejack all, all along knew something that maybe one day she would meet her true soulmate. Even though that she had to be done, had to be done any dating at all. But dating Coco Cream felt so natural for her. And even for Coco Cream, he was just happy. Because he realized if he hadn't even gone back to Ponyville to see some of old friends and even some family there, if he had even had even gone to Sweet Apple Acres to see his old friend Apple Jack. He would not have even realized at some point later on that she was his true soulmate. Even Apple Jack felt the same felt, felt the same thing. Because if he had even told her, she may not even found his true her true soul. But she was just happy to have found him. And both could not be happier to be with the one that loved the most of all in the whole world. Not only loving him, but having a such amazing family. Two daughters and one son with the pony that she loved the most of all in the whole world. She could have been happier. And this is how. Apple Jack and Cocoa Cream for the true love got a big fan together. The end.